In this Blender tutorial for beginners, I will show you how I made a procedural metal material. I will be adding a new material to the sphere and change the metallic and specular to 0.8 and change the base color to a dark gray with the hex code 474747. I add a Voronoi texture node. This will give me a whirly noise at the input texture coordinates. I add a color ramp, which will be used to control the normal. I then add a bump map node, which will generate a normal from a height texture. In this case, the Voronoi and color ramp nodes. I connect the color output of the Voronoi texture node to the factor of the color ramp. I then connect the color output of the color ramp to the height of the bump node. I then connect the normal of the bump node to the normal of the principled shader. I can then change the scale of the Voronoi texture node. I can also move the color stops on the color ramp to control the texture on the sphere. I also change the strength of the bump node. If I want something that looks like it has cracks in it, I can invert the bump node. I also want to control the roughness of the material. I duplicate the Voronoi texture and the color ramp. I also add a noise texture and a mix RGB node. I connect the noise texture and the second Voronoi texture nodes to the mix RGB node. I connect the mixed RGB node to the color ramp and the color ramp to the roughness of the principled shader. I change the scale of the Voronoi and Noise Texture nodes. And if I move the white color stop, I can make the material rougher, more like a matte finish. And if I move the black color stop, I can make the material appear more metallic and shiny. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Have a good day.